Hello everyone. I did a video about the uh, Tiger Tank a little while ago and talking about it, how it was not a waste of resources. Now I'm going to do another video about the American-made M4 Sherman. And it was not quite as worthless as people seem to make it out to be. Now, granted, um, it did have, it had many, many drawbacks, like thin armor and uh, a weak gun on most models, at least the ones with a um, 75 millimeter. Um, however, it did have a few very good traits about it. One, best of all, it was easy to produce. It was cheap to make and easy to produce. Second, it was re very reliable. And third, and second, it was very reliable and you did, it, it didn't break down easily. And third, you could modify it rather easily. Now, these don't sound like very exciting traits, but peep, but um, the Americans managed to put a um, 80, not 88, but um, a 76 millimeter on it, and you could take out a tiger's frontal armor if you got close enough. You couldn't do you couldn't do that at any range with the 75 millimeter, but you could do it with the um, 76 on it that was put on the EZ8 Shermans. Also, um, the British put the um, 17 pounder on it. And the Israelis put a, um, one, a, one, a 105 millimeter on it, or a 105 millimeter on it. And uh, those could deal with a Tiger or Panther. And on all, and in fact, the Sherman Firefly, which, which had the 17 pounder, could take on a Tiger on almost equal terms. Granted, it still had very weak armor, but it could punch a hole in the tie punch a hole through the tiger's frontal armor, so that's pretty even. And in any case, um, the Sher the Sherman's the beauty of the Sherman is that you could produce lots and lots of them. I mean, it was simple, it was easy to make, and you could make a whole bunch of them. They made about fifty thousand Shermans throughout the war, and that's. Pretty much, that's probably more than the whole arsenal, whole Panzer arsenal of Germany put together. Even, I mean, Germany produced something like um, 8,000 uh, Panzer IVs, uh, 6,000 Panthers, and uh, around, under 2,000 under 2, Tigers. So, and by Tigers, I mean Tigers one and Tigers two. Tiger One, the Tiger One, and the Tiger Two, or King Tiger, or Kung's Tiger, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but the fact is that, you know, this whole thing is just people really underrate the Sherman. It was not as crappy as people think. Yeah, granted, it took like, you know, generally like, you know, five Shermans to take out a um, single Tiger, and uh, same, same goes with the T 34. I mean, the Tiger Battalions had an average kill ratio of 5 to 1, but given the fact that, you know, they produced 50, America produced 50,000 Shermans compared to just under 2,000 Tigers, not even a 10 to 1 kill ratio would have been sufficient for the Tigers. And, um, therefore, the Sherman was a real war winner. It wasn't, you know, amazing or brilliant or really cool or anything like that, but it got the job done, and you could make lots and lots of them. See, the Sherman was originally designed um, as an anti-infantry support vehicle, pretty much, and, see, America back in the day often put, put their faith in tank destroyers like the Wolverine, rather than tank, tanks. The Pershing didn't come around until... Um, 1945, basically. It never was deployed in large numbers until then, so it could deal with the Tiger. But anyway, it's just, the Tiger probably would not have gained, you know, I like, I admit, I like the Tiger. I think the Tiger tank is cool. I think the Panther tank is cool. I love German-made weapons. They're the bomb. They're the shiz. But still, as much of a Tiger fan as I am, I have to admit that, you know, 
the tiger probably would not enjoy, enjoy the reputation and legend that it does today had the IS-2 had the IS-2 and M26 Pershing been around at the time of its creation. See, the IS-2 and the M26 um, Pershing, they were designed to deal with the Tiger. And that was it. That's the whole reason they existed. And in any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.